On September 22nd through 25th, 2011, the capstone events for the Peace Corps' 50th anniversary were celebrated in Washington, D.C. These four days were the culmination of a year-long set of more than 2,000 events in some 80 countries. These events commemorated the Peace Corps' remarkable history, honored the service of the 200,000 volunteers who served in 139 countries, and, more importantly, helped advance the timeless Peace Corps dream of a more peaceful and prosperous world. The September 2011 anniversary events began with an advocacy day. More than 500 community members had over 350 meetings with members of Congress and their staff. In these meetings, they shared their volunteer stories and discussed the enduring value of the Peace Corps. The next day was dedicated to service and reunions. More than 350 community members worked with 40 D.C. area charities doing what the Peace Corps does, serving others. There were reunions of volunteers based on where they served, Nigeria, Namibia, Nicaragua, and Nepal, and other countries. On the third day, there was a panel of world leaders who had direct experience with Peace Corps volunteers, talking about how that experience shaped their lives. The panel was moderated by renowned journalist Bill Moyers. The global leaders participating in this panel included former President Alejandro Toledo of Peru, former Finance Minister Ashraf Ghani of Afghanistan, and former Vice President Atiku Abubakar of Nigeria. On the evening of this third day, the Promise of the Peace Corps Gala was held. During this gala, which was hosted by MSNBC host Chris Matthews, Atiku Abubakar became the first recipient of the Senator Harris Wofford Global Citizen Award. His son Adamu accepted the award on his behalf. Thank you very much. On the fourth and final day of these anniversary celebrations, there was a solemn ceremony for the 272 volunteers who lost their lives during Peace Corps service. A commemorative event honoring all 200,000 former volunteers at Arlington National Cemetery. And then, an inspiring parade of flags from each of the 139 countries where the Peace Corps volunteers served. A very special feature of these 50th anniversary events organized by the National Peace Corps Association was to shine the spotlight on individuals whose lives were shaped in part by their interaction with the Peace Corps volunteers. This was the motivation behind the Global Leaders Panel and the establishment of the Senator Harris Wofford Global Citizen Award. This award, named after an advisor to Martin Luther King and President John F. Kennedy and one of the founders of the Peace Corps, recognizes how individuals influenced by their experience with the Peace Corps have dedicated their lives to serving their countries and improving their communities. The Honorable Atiku Abubakar was the ideal recipient of this first award. When Atiku Abubakar enrolled as a student at Adamawa Provincial School in Yola, President John F. Kennedy was just creating the Peace Corps. Atiku Abubakar had a distinguished career in government and, following his retirement, dealt in a wide range of businesses. His dedication to improving his country led him to be elected as vice president. Atiku Abubakar is well known for his philanthropic activities, most notably establishing the American University of Nigeria. He is also known for fairness to people of other faiths, values that align closely with the Peace Corps mission.